Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's, of course, Cape Rugby TV, where we talk about what's happening in the world of Western Province Club Rugby. It's nice to have you along. We've got a nice full show for you this evening. I'm going to be catching up with Mr. Jerome Parvater about what's happening this weekend. So lots of action. Before we get started, of course, big thanks to our partners on board with us, Score Energy Drinks. Scores, of course, on board with Western Province Club Rugby and the Western Province Club Rugby Sevens. And you can win yourself a case of score a little bit later during the course of the show when we do the Spot the Team competition. We'll explain to you how you can enter that competition. Of course, MCAM 24-hour pharmacy on the corner of N1 and Durban Road, also on board with us. And uh, we, of course, take a look at Decro Paints. Decro Paints is with us here at Cape Rugby TV and a big uh, supporter of uh, community sport. And, of course, uh, one of South Africa leading paint brands. In studio with me, and welcome back, Jerome Parvata. Jerome, nice to have you back. Yeah, always good to be back and um, looking forward for a good week of, of rugby. It's uh, that time of the year we we hit the semi-final, so it's going to be a, a nice week weekend of rugby, I think. Yeah, so this is where it starts now. We already had the first uh, quarterfinals, uh, so we've got a small taste of it, even though uh, Unimil played away this past weekend. They played in uh, Pretoria against the Naka Bulls. Um, final result there, I think they lost by yeah. two points, two maybe. Points, yeah. yeah, but a, but a big scoring game for them. Let's talk about the Gold Cup quickly. I mean, a, a, a going up there, going to Pretoria, and seeing more than ninety points on the board, I didn't expect that. Yeah, it's it's strange. Uh, also, knowing knowing the Bulls, they are not. So maybe the club rugby is a lot of running rugby, but the Bulls are not the team that score a lot of points. But I think uh, for our guys going up there, a uh, win would have been good, but I mean, they didn't disappoint. Yeah. I mean, two points in the game, it could have gone anywhere. Any team could have won that game. Yeah, and then of course, uh, Fals Bay and Heidelberg. Yeah, Fals Bay, good win for Fals Bay there. Uh, it's a good start for them. So yeah, yeah they'll be happy. And then our other team that, of course, also in the Gold Cup is Tigerberg. Yeah, Tigerberg, Tigerberg lost. I think that, that was uh, also a big score for them yeah. uh, that they've lost. Too. So, yeah, they're the only team that um, need to get points here. Um, how much of a challenge for, for our teams, the Super League A teams? I mean, we always talk about the fact that Super League A is um, at a next level. <laughs> Uh, so, so now our Super League A guys like uh, False Bay, Tigerberg, Unimil playing in the Gold Cup against teams from other provinces. Um, how, how do you think we're going to do? Look, I hope we I hope we can uh, hope we can do well, and I hope we can get a, a few wins uh, um, in this tournament because we we pride ourselves as the best um, club rugby. Uh, um, Club rugby league, league yeah. in, in the country, yeah. so it's going to be challenging. But uh, I think I think we can we can still make it. And like I said, falls by come over win dub, um, and almost. But there's still a lot of rugby to be played. Yeah. So back home, of course. Now uh, we go into what everybody's been playing for the top six. It's now the first weekend is out of the way. Um, and then, um, so we will take a look at some of the results. And folks, tonight we're going to take a look at some of the highlights of some of the teams that are busy playing, that are going to be playing this weekend, uh, of course, playing at City Park. Um, and it's, of course, the really the final opportunity for any club that is playing in the, in the, um, in the leagues to, to um, have a shot at making it. Um, Jerome, for some of these clubs, um, it will be their first game now since the league because teams like uh, Villagers, and we wait to see then tonight what happens in the match between Martis and, um, and Unimil. Um, but for a team like Villagers, they would have had a, a, a break for a few weeks now, whereas uh, some of the other teams will be going straight into it because there is, of course, that if you, if you came first or second in Super League A, mm. B or C, you got a guaranteed semi-final. You yeah. didn't play in the quarters. Some of the other teams then, of course, did play in the quarters now this past weekend. How much of a difference would that have made for those teams, having a, a week off? I think this time of the season, it's always good to have a break. Because some players will have niggles. Yeah. Uh, maybe will be ready to play in the uh, semi-finals. Whereas the teams that play, if they, have, if they pick up niggles and it's serious, then they won't be able to play. So I think the teams that didn't play, they, they're happy to have a bit of a break. Yeah. 
So the um, and folks, let's quickly take a look at the first some of the first highlights. UCT is of course guaranteed spot. Um, they are up against Helderberg this weekend. We are going to see if we can find you some highlights of the match between Helderberg and Unimol. But let's take a look at some of the action here. You will remember that we showed you the, the match between UCT and Hamiltons. Uh, so check this out. And we asked Jerome what he thinks UCT is going to have to do going into their uh, match this weekend um, at City Park against Helderberg. Let's see. Right, folks. So, uh, Jerome, let's go. Let's quickly talk to you about that. That was in the match UCT against Hamilton's. Um, looking at the what, what I was, what I saw there was I, I saw quite a bit of running rugby from from UCT. But let, so let's talk about the running rugby for UCT. They're up against Helderberg this weekend. Um, is that what they're going to need this weekend? Yeah. Look, that's definitely what they what they're going to have to do with Helderberg because they've got a big pack up forward with Helderberg. So I think they would want to stretch them, play a bit wider. But if you look at this game, which they played against Hamilton's, I mean, Hamilton's also a good big pack, older yeah. guys. And I think they got the balance right now, UCT, where in the past they were struggling up front. But now, with these young guys, they're actually dominating up front also, mm. which they've got this mixture right now. Um, so it's not, not just playing the game, playing wide. they good, good set piece. They move well. They scrum well against Hamilton's, as we've seen now. So I think they're going to take the same momentum through to uh, against Helderberg. And um, I also think Helderberg coming off a, a tough game against Derbel. Uh, so for them to <laughs> look, Derbel was 20-0 up at mm. halftime. And for them to come and win the game 22-20, it means that they had to put a lot of effort in the second half especially to play. So I think... But it's also good for them because they're coming off a, a, a tough game. Yeah. The, the students are fresh and waiting. So, but I think, uh, like I say, um, UCT, they, they really got this right now with this young guys and they're mm. tough and they're strong. So they're playing a good brand of rugby. Right, folks, uh, we're talking about the matches. Gonna, we're looking at highlights of the matches coming up this weekend. When we come back from the break, we've got a few more highlights to, to show you as we build up to the big matches this weekend at City Park, where, of course, it's the semifinals of the uh, Super League A, B, and C sides. We'll talk to you more about that after the break. Mm -hmm. 